guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Rizundu and if you are new here, we are doing a new Beauty in Australia video where I've been doing these uh, for a few years now where I talk all things new in beauty specifically for the Australian market. I feel like what we get is quite delayed or we get don't get at all. So we just kind of have a discussion about that and go through the actual websites that are accessible for us. So Priceline, um, Mecca, Sephora, and then we have a little look at Trend Mood on Instagram and just kind of talk about what we think is going to come, what we hope is going to come, and just have a good old yarn about beauty in Australia. If you are interested in these kinds of videos, I would love for you to subscribe, share with your friends who you think would be interested, like if you enjoy it along the way, and let's get into it. So we're going to have a little look at Priceline. I will admit, I have been on a no-buy beauty related no buy and I've been doing really really well um, but a part of that means I haven't been like going into stores I did walk through a chemist warehouse today but I did not buy anything beauty related other than what I needed I think I bought like a callus like a heel callus remover <laughs> pretty exciting stuff but otherwise I've been really good so let's have a look at the new at Priceline. What I was talking about, I think I did one maybe two or three weeks ago, but since then Mecca's done a drop. And so I'm trying to be a little bit more current than I have been. A little bit more regular, I should say. Aha, uh -huh, I do know this is new because I follow them on Instagram. TBH Skincare No Scrubs Hydrating Makeup Removing Jelly Cleanser. Sounds amazing. There, I think they, they had two cleansers. I think maybe they've removed one and replaced it with this. Their cleansers are one of my favorite cleansers I've ever used. I can't remember which one I used. Priceline needs to get an app because this picture I just took a screenshot of is so messy. A hydrating jelly to milk cleanser. Sounds nice. I feel like this is their answer to a more drier skin type because the ones that they had were good for my oilier skin. Transforms to a cleansing milk when combined with water to remove dirt, pollutant, grime, makeup, including mascara, leaving the skin feeling soft, hydrated, and perfectly clean. Oil-based jelly cleanser, free, free of harsh surfactants and formulated with neutral pH. I think that'd be a great one for drier skin types. Or a nice winter option because it sounds like it's a little bit more gentle okay this is definitely new <laughs> i'm just gonna skip it if i'm not sure this is from nyx this is the fix stick and the shade that i'm showing is vanilla and it is like a cream stick concealer dark circles fixed blemishes fixed discoloration fixed those with lighter skin will find that light peach tone. Oh, they're color correctors, I see. So there are color corrector shades and then there are skin shades. So the one that is pictured is the vanilla, but they also have a green. They have a dark peach, which is for like medium skin tones. They've got an apricot and they've got a brick red for uh, deep skin tones. So, I mean, I am not in the market for a color corrector. Um, I've got quite a few and I don't use them all the time either, but I really like the looks of these because cream is good for those situations where you just want to do a little bit because it's uh, more pigmented and then you just kind of pat it out with your finger. So I do like the idea of that. There are more NYX things. We have the, it sounds really good. This sounds like a drugstore solution to the Tarte lips. Uh, the Hourglass Phantom Glossy Balms, you know, all of those ones the, that click or t turn and they're too soft to be a lipstick but uh, too creamy to be a lip gloss. I don't know what you call that. It's a glossy balm. Yeah, it's a glossy balm. So here we have two, four, six, eight shades and this is called the Fat Oil Click Stick and I'm showing the shade DM Me. I got the, what were they called? Were they called Fat Oil? Yeah, the actual lip gloss. And I really like it. So I feel like this would be really nice too. The shades look really nice. And this one is $22.99. Okay, this is, okay, NYX is coming through. NYX is having a moment. And I'm really happy about it because they used to be so good and then they kind of disappeared when I say disappeared, they didn't want to bring out anything new that was exciting. But I feel like they're back on the bandwagon. This is the Butter Melt Bronzer. Uh, she melts like butter, baby. This buttery smooth bronzing powder formula. 
Um, easy to blend and grips on the skin for up to 12 hours. Infused with shea butter, mango butter, almond butter for butter benefits. Uh, butter, butter, butter. Uh, this, see, this is where a no bite is really hard because that I want to try. And I love the shades. We, I don't think we have all of them. We've got four shades and there's a big skip. So I feel like, yeah, we've got like two, four, six, and eight. So I'm pretty sure there's maybe eight. I think I talked about it or saw it in trend mood. We've got four, which is so typical. And it's the bone that I always pick with the Australian makeup market is we don't bring all the shades to Australia. And it's like they don't want to acknowledge different skin tones in Australia, which is one of the most multicultural countries in the world. We just kind of hand pick the lighter shades and then throw in one deeper shade. And I know I talk about this all the time, but it really upsets me that we can't be at the same level as the rest of the world, you know? That is the first thing that I've seen in a while. No, there's one other thing from Mecca that I am resisting so hard not to buy. That, that's it. And then there's also the marshmallow setting spray. Your girl doesn't need another setting spray, but if I did, this would probably be the one that I get. Marshmallow setting spray. I know I got a, I've got a little of, little, sample of the primer i still haven't used it i need to whip it out i think because it's a mini i'm like oh save it for a holiday do i go on holidays rarely all right we've got some new maybelline and it, it's actually new so that's exciting uh we have the tattoo liner automatic gel pencil and the shade shown is mocha gray I'd be into that. A 50% off, that would be $10 because it goes for $20. And then the Maybelline Hyper Precise Liner in Black. That looks really good too. They're always coming out with um, liners. And I have found their liners are pretty bad. So I don't know about this one. Hopefully it's better. I just feel like they they smudge and they don't last. I've never really had a good experience with their liners. They've also got a brown, a dark brown, a teal, and a electric blue they've got the lift a plump blush blaze is that a lip gloss oh lift plump lift a plump lip plumping gloss that's hard to say oh intense heat three shades they the shades are really pretty the one pictured a warm pink <laughs> yes the polo is and then they also have build a brow blonde sorry Build a brow. This is the blonde shade shown. And this sounds like Build a Bear. We have four shades. Okay, so it looks like we've got a uh, clear gel on one side and then the brow pen on the other side to do hair like strokes. Okay, that's not something that I would use, uh, but I like the idea of it. I find those brow pens very hit and miss i feel like some of them don't have enough pigment and then some of them are too wet i find them a really hard product to get right okay i actually got this in pr so if you watch my um videos where i vlog everything that i get throughout the month like i vlog it in in real time like i unbox it when I get it. Uh, they, the Ordinary sent this to me. This is, you know how they always had hyaluronic acid? Well, this is hyaluronic acid 2% plus B5. So they've improved the formula and added B5. I remember when I was first getting into skincare, I destroyed my skin by over exfoliating with St. Ives. This is back in the day, guys, back in the day. Back in the day when I had no idea about beauty. And I got this from The Ordinary and it changed my skin. And I think I, I thought it changed my skin because my body, my face had never experienced hydration before. I had dry skin and I was exfoliating every day. So let's just think about that. Um, and then I bought this and I was like, what is this concoction? So I have a special place in my heart for the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. And I'm very keen to try this new formula. If you can hear in the background, my daughter is at home sick today. She is fine. But she's a little bit coffee. Right, so here we have the Revlon Color Stay Limitless Matte Lipstick. The shade shown is Extra Shock, currently 50% off. Love to see it. Oh, we got it. We got us oh, currently half price. I, this is why these videos are not good for me. They might be good for you, but they are bad for me trying to save money. <laughs> 
So this here is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible 3 Second Setting Mist. We talked about this in the last video. Um, it was featured on Trend Mood. It's currently half price, so it was 30 now 15 This is another thing that I absolutely love to buy. I certainly just don't need it though. Like I've got quite a few that I want to finish before I ever buy a new one. But this one is at the top of my list, probably more than the marshmallow one. I love the idea. Three second setting mist. I want you to set my face in three seconds flat. Thank you. And then Elf has this really cute powder puff for $10, which is pretty self-explanatory, a powder puff. It looks like Real Techniques has some new brushes called Hyper Brights Brush. We've got a multitasker and a contour brush. And then they have a cheek brush and a five set eyepiece, which looks really good. Oh, we also got the NYX Dark Plump Lip Plumping Lip Gloss. 10 colors, $23.99. I definitely won't get it. I've, I've got the fat oil, fat lip oil, whatever you call it. I've got so many of these right now. They've all, this is the thing, these one product goes viral and then they all copy it and every brand copies it. So then there is 20 versions of one, 40 versions of one product. And yes, I like the sounds of this. But at the same time, I probably have the, I feel like the fat oil, lip oil, it would be exactly the same thing. I think this is supposed to be even more plumping. I feel like this is like, like that next level. But honestly, I don't think I need that next level. All right, let's go to Sephora, which is actually an app. Lovely. I can see Innisfree. Was Innisfree always at Sephora? I feel like it wasn't. Um, Cause quite a few products are sitting here. I've tried the green tea. Hyaluronic Serum. I got a little sample of it uh, when I went away in December. I went into the Innisfree store. There's one near me, an actual store. And I bought some hand creams and she gave me a little sample. But it was like, it lasted me a while. It lasted me the whole month of this serum. And it was really nice. I really liked it. They've also got the Green Tea Caffeine Bright Eye Serum. That sounds lovely. They've got quite a few different things. So I'm not going to show you, but... It looks like Innisfree is now at Sephora. If you like that brand, this is a nice, easily accessible way to get it. Laneige has a bouncy and firm sleeping mask. So their um, hydrating sleeping mask, the water, that is good. I've said it before, but I've gone through two of those tubs. So this looks like it's a new one. Laneige is great. I do love Laneige. Uh, enriched with both peptide complex and peony and collagen complex to firm and plump your skin while you sleep. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> That's all I really want. I want to be plump and firm. That's right. I saw this. So this is from a fragrance brand I didn't really rate before, but I'm having this weird obsession with pistachio perfumes. I either love them or I hate them. And this brand, Obvious, has Un Pistache Eau de Parfum, and I'm so intrigued by it. It's $200 for 100 ml, which is not bad. That's what Replica charges. A smooth, creamy, and opulent dessert. That's why I'm like, I think I might like this. Close your eyes and continue your journey to Parisian lands, wandering through markets where orange blossoms and pistachios rub shoulders with the scent of marzipan. I don't mind that marzipan scent. Oh, remind me. I smell vanilla sex from Tom Ford. I need to talk about it. Notes of heliotrope shape the fragrance to give it fullness with almond facets. And a lot of almonds and pistachios they do well together so i understand but it's, it sounds common but sometimes you love that common pistachio smell i don't know heart of carrot which is what i don't know if i'm gonna like that unfolds the sweet notes of the perfume and amplifies its can't say that word unctuousness it is then that the pistachio milk reveals its nuances, gourmand and sweet, bitter and dry. It sounds so good. It's as if uh, pistachio come out of the streets of Tripoli, a firm, dense, dizzying pistachio. I wish this came in a tin meal because I would I probably would buy it. Top notes of neroli, cardamom. See, I don't like cardamom, but it's the top note, so it might disappear. So we might be all right. Then we have um, a carrot heart, and then heart notes of pistachio milk, yum. Heliotrope, alabdanum oil, and base notes of sandalwood, cashmere, cashmere, and musk. And I do love musk. 
I love a bit of mask. So that, I've hearted it and I want it so bad. I actually think the bottle looks really cool too with like the cork top. So I'm having conflictions in my mind. I'm not gonna buy it right now because I'm being a good girl, but it's definitely there. Huda Beauty, we've actually got quite a bit from Sephora. This is the Creamy Obsessions eyeshadow palette for $55. There are two shades. So I just showed you grayish and then this is brown. I haven't even, I've seen that there are reviews but I haven't watched them. I just am so, I have so many eyeshadow palettes. I could never, I never need another one essentially. But sometimes I get them in PR so I'm still acquiring them. Um, without ever buying them. Um, if you want to know what's in my eyes today, I've done something a little bit different today. This is the Australis Making Waves palette. The eyeliner is the maroon with the navy shimmer. And then I've got this periwinkle shimmer at the top. I've done something a little bit different to my usual, but I quite like it. I think it's cute. The Seven Virtues have released, we, we're not too far behind on this new release. This is the Amber Vanilla. Um, Lauren May Beauty, who has a fragrance channel, loves this fragrance. $156 for 50 ml. I would love to smell this in store. I think the packaging with the carnations on top is just stunning. I love that picture. I love carnations. I've got a soft spot for carnations. Um, let's read the description. We have, there's no description. There is literally no description. It's talking about it's made with 22% fragrance oil, Leaping Bunny certified. Excuse me, we don't have, and there's no picture to show the notes. So, it's an amber vanilla. We got the Milk Makeup Cooling Water Jelly Tint. This went viral because it literally feels like jelly and people have been eating it. And when I heard that, I just had a sigh of disappointment in the human race. <laughs> anyway, the colors look really pretty. I'm not interested. Because I feel like this is for people who don't wear makeup. It's like just a sheer tint. I could be wrong, but I just, yeah, it just doesn't really intrigue me. I don't really know why. I mean, I know why it went viral because of the whole jelly thing. But otherwise, is it a good makeup product? I couldn't tell you. So I think Mecca had a drop like a week ago. These two faced jelly lip oil glosses are so adorable. I actually tried this on in store. They smell like I have flavors. So there's raspberry, wait. Pina Colada, clear with gold shimmer, sweet cotton candy, cool mint blue. I tried the grape soda with, which is purple with multicolor shimmer. It was very pretty and it did taste like grape. Uh, Bubblegum pink with gold shimmer, raspberry electric fuchsia, and then sour watermelon with a warm electric pink. They're very juicy, very, if you like super juicy, they are super juicy. Really, really pretty. Uh, ultra nourishing natural oil, high, end, high shine gloss hybrid, infused with sunflower and jojoba seed oils. So, I mean, if you, I would say that's the one I would recommend. I'm not gonna buy it because I have so many, but I did try it and I really enjoyed it. Uh, Drunk Elephant have their new Bora Barrier Repair Cream. This feels like the ultimate winter moisturizer. So this has got your barrier repair, so it's good for, if you're having abnormal skin issues and it feel like it needs repair, whether it's like really dry or just dull, this would be really good. Good for really dry skin, chronically dry skin, um, compromised barrier or mature skin. So that's where that barrier cream is good for like deep hydration. So if you have oily skin, oh, I would say no, cause it's thick. I feel like everyone else. Sorry, I'm a bit tired. I can feel like, <laughs> I feel like everyone else would be, would be good for that. Uh, Too Faced have bought a naturally better than sex. I'm just like, can we, can we give it a break? I'm sure, oh look. It's only got two reviews, two stars. Someone just recently I saw on social media said they really liked this, but I cannot remember who, so. Volumize, lengthen, curl, and condition. Now, people are like, is it the same formula? I actually had someone ask me, I said, it's not the same formula, it's the same brush. So the brush is the same, um, but it's got 98% naturally derived formula. So bamboo fibers, goji berry blend. So the only thing that's the same about it 
is the packaging and the actual bristles. This Morphe foundation, I feel like Morphe is doing what no one else is doing and that is having I mean, affordable makeup. $33 in this climate is considered affordable. So um, I, I, we haven't even gotten into the rest of Mecca's stuff. Like, I don't even think I can talk about prices because you know, $100 to me is different to $100 to someone else. Like $100 to me is a lot of money, but to someone else it's not. So I can't really comment on prices. Because for someone else, they're like happy to pay $100 for a foundation. So I don't really think that's something I'm going to comment on too much. But Morphe is providing an affordable option at Mecca, which I do appreciate. So this is the Light Form Extended Hydration Foundation. I have swatched it. It has got a natural radiant finish. I would say it's definitely a natural finish. It does dry down a little bit. Um, had decent coverage. So what does this claim to be? Buildable medium coverage. While a Hydro Relief Complex works to improve and maintain skin moisture balance over time. To me, it was a medium to full coverage natural finish foundation. That's what I got from it. Um, I feel like they're, you know, they're hint hint skin tint. I finished that in my project pan. Stunning. That used to be $26. I might be a bit more now. But I feel like Morphe has really improved their foundations a lot. Or just their complexion in general. Um, speaking of foundations, Kylie Cosmetics, the Power Plush Foundation is $54, which is not too bad either. Um, hydrating and instantly smoothing. Liquid foundation with a medium buildable coverage. Okay, so this sounds exactly the same. And then we also have the concealer from Kylie for $37. It's not badly priced, I've got to say. This is a natural satin finish that brightens, blurs and smooths. Um, we've also got the Precision Lip Liners, which I love. I don't know if she's changed the formula, but her original lip liners are incredible. They like go on super creamy and then they dry down and they don't budge. So if this is the same formula, I highly recommend these. Okay, Vanilla Sex, Tom Ford. I've smelt it. It smells like vanilla and like marzipan, but you know that amaretto marzipan? So it's got that cherry marzipan vanilla scent some people are hating it i didn't mind the smell of it on paper but once i put it on my skin that amaretto kind of scent it went medicinal on my skin it went a little bit toilety and i don't like saying that because what goes on my skin is going to be different to you but it went weird on my skin but the fragrance itself i quite liked I did like it, but was it like, whoa, no, I didn't think it was like, oh my God, this is something special. Cause you know what? I love vanilla. Call me basic, but I think vanilla is added into fragrances. That's why I love Kayali. Kayali always puts vanilla in a fragrance and I just love it. But straight vanilla fragrances, do I need them? No. Unless they've got like a creaminess to it. So did I like this? Yes. Did I like it on my skin? No. Would I recommend it? Yes. But I do not think it's for everyone. So if the way that I described it you think you would like, I think it's nice. So we've got Vanilla Tincture India, Vanilla Absolute and Sandalwood Essence. I just like, what? I'm missing something. Because it did not smell like those notes. It smelled like it had this cherry marzipan kind of taste, smell to it, sorry. Okay, here's the product that I want to buy. I'm going to say the brand and you're going to be like, oh, come on, Sam. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this brand. RMS Beauty is... It's me. It's a bit of me. This is the Super Natural Radiance Tinted Serum with an SPF 30. This was on Trend Mood over six months ago. No. It was summer of 2023. That's how long ago it was. I commented on it and I said, is this coming to Australia? And they were like, yes, but in a long, in a while. Well, here it is. Almost a year later. <laughs> um, so this is beautiful. This is something that I wear when I'm not wearing makeup. So I think it would still be good to put on your own SPF. But this is like that little extra layer. So what you do is you, it's got a little bit of shimmer. It's got um, 
a little bit of skincare and then it's got a little bit of tint and then it's got a little bit of SPF. So right now I'm using the Ilia. I'm going to show a picture of it. Love it. Absolutely love it. I'm actually wearing it today, but I wore it when I dropped my son off at daycare. And then I come back and put makeup on. But that's what I've been wearing. So I put my sunscreen on and then I put that over the top. Because it's a tint. It doesn't like, it's not like foundation or a skin tint. It's just tinted serum. I love it. But it's expiring in April. So when that expires, I think I'm going to treat myself to this. And is that going to break my low buy? You tell me if it's a replacement product. What do you reckon? Is that considered in the no buy or not? Because these are the kind of products that I use in the mornings, every day. Even skin tone boosts radiance and corrects imperfections with a subtle soft focus, radiant filter and hint of tint. While non-nano zinc oxide protects from the sun's damaging rays. Formulated with complexion correcting soft focus technology and powered by Glopex, Plex, a complex of natural peptides such as blah 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 blah, nice in my pea extract. Lightweight formula, smooth skin and boost radiance instantly and over time. I want this the middle shade because I do like that little bit of extra radiance in the morning. So that's the one thing I want to buy. I haven't seen it in store, so I'm going to heart it or I'm going to add to bag. I'm going to add to bag because I might end up actually buying it. And it just like sits in my bag. I've got things just sitting there. <laughs> um, the other Tom Ford fragrance that I haven't seen in store is the Vanille Fatale. And this honestly sounds better in my opinion. But Vanilla Sex is what went viral. So that's what has made it to stores. Well, most stores. I'm sure that this is at the big major stores. So this one is um, evokes the ingredients Alter Ego. Um, a beguiling, begu richly cinematic and deep seductive scent. Dark woods, addictive coffee absolute and roasted barley. It sounds great and I'd love to smell it even though I haven't seen it in store. Okay, Dias and Durga is one of my favorite fragrance brands. They have released the Deep Dark Vanilla. So Dias and Durga do things off center. Their pistachio fragrance is not sweet it's i would say it's a little bit creamy but it's not they don't do things in the way you think they're going to be done so their deep dark vanilla i believe is not the vanilla that you know rich real vanilla absolute in all its toasty glory so we got something i can't even pronounce cab rayuva Orchid, pink pepper, green vanilla leaves, cypress root, vanilla absolute, dark patchouli, and hay. It's a rich and smoky vanilla absolute. is one of the most beautiful materials in perfumery. It can secretly blend behind things in a way synthetic vanilla cannot. Synthetic vanilla-based fragrances are usually sugary, sweet, and cloying. On real skin, vanilla is warm and gourmand, recalling jungles, vines, and good times. Everything Dias and Durga does, you go on their website and read the everything's got a story and a music playlist on Spotify. So Dias and Durga, all their fragrances come from art, culture, music. Um, they're all inspired. And they all have playlists on Spotify. So check that out, Dias and Durga on Spotify. Um, their actual bottles look like record players. That's what their inspiration is. So I just think the whole brand is fantastic. And um, I really want to smell that. But most of their fragrances are in the big major stores. Though. They only have a selection in the smaller stores. Oh, and then Tom Ford brought out a body spray. So um, I have smelled the Bitter Peach, the Effing Fabulous, and the Rose Prick. And they're pretty good. I like that they're just at a more affordable price point. Obviously not going to be as strong, but Tom Ford is already pretty strong. Uh, so these are 165 and they're an aerosol, aerosol spray, body spray. And they're pretty big. They were like this big. So pretty decent size as well. So if you love any of those scents, there is a more affordable option. And then the Glow Recipe Watermelon Hue Drops. I got a sample of this and I haven't tried it yet, but I want to try it under makeup one day. Um, I did swatch it it looks really nice it's a lot sheerer uh, than the other kind of products like the de bronzy drops because de bronzy is actually concentrated used as a mixer these um when you pump them out it looks really intense but it really shears out 
and people are complaining that it's too sheer but that whole idea is just to give you a nice golden glow not to actually be a proper tint i like the sounds of it and i'm excited to try it okay let me go over to trend mood patrick tar the thing with patrick tar is he releases to australia so delayed and then when we do get it it's minimal stock so i just don't i don't really like talking about it because it, we're just going to get our hopes up but there are three more shades of the blushes and then five shades of the glosses these shades look so beautiful i would wear the two on the end the pink one i don't really like a cool toned pink but the orange coral and the super neutral one the co oh, colors look beautiful so yeah i'm, I'm about that Oh, Natasha Denona's Hyper Natural Face Palette. I don't like the color of the blush. It doesn't do it for me. So, um, I like the idea of it, but she's only done one shade. And I know she does blushes to suit all skin types and eyeshadows, but with bronzers, you really can't do a universal. It really has to be for different skin tones. And I can see they've got their light, medium, and dark, but... I just don't know. A brand like hers that is so high-end, they really can't be missing the mark with that kind of stuff. And when you're excluding people that can't use this, I don't really like it. Milk Makeup have added, added to the Kush line. This is the Kush Hydrating She Tinted Lip Oil. Another lip oil. Was I not just saying there's 40 others from other brands there's probably a hundred others honestly okay so the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Vinyl what's the difference here three different finishes so they're extending they're very popular sheer shimmery and full coverage they're the three formulas soap and glory oh we might get this because we have soap and glory at Mecca they haven't released anything new in a long time so here we have the freshest fig oh I like fig so we've got the body scrub, the body butter, the body lotion, and the body wash. That looks nice. Oh, so luscious notes of plump fig and sparkling lemon blossom. Oh, that's going to be fresh. They, do, I like Soap and Glory. Their scents are great, and they're a good price point. I definitely recommend. I like their lotion. I like their body butter. I like everything. Urban Decay has a new foundation, Face Bond Waterproof Liquid Foundation. You know I love Urban. I love Urban Decay. Their um, Stay Naked Foundation. The Weightless Matte one, I recommend for oily skin. It's going to be really interesting to see what this one is like. I'm interested in that. New shades of the Honey Infused Hydrating Lip Oils from Gisu or Jisu, however you pronounce it. I don't like the yellow one. And it does, it feels like olive oil on the skin. So I don't rate them. But the brand is so hot that they just make sales. CoverGirl Skin Enhancer. Oh, what's going on here? I haven't seen this. So, primers and luminizers. We've got plush to plump up dry skin, velvet to blur pores, cashmere to calm and color correct redness, sticky to tighten and grip makeup to last all day. And then the Skin Enhancer Luminizer in Jelly Opal Glow and Jelly Bronze Glow. I think CoverGirl really did need a bit of a rebrand. Naked Sundays is taking over the world. It's taken over America. I saw Courtney, no, not Courtney, Chloe Kardashian advertising their glow drops. Oh, it's at Target in America. How interesting that it's in drugstore in America and it's high end here in Australia. Um, I really like their products. I love everything they do actually. So I'm really glad to see an Australian brand entering and succeeding in the American market because that's not easy to do. But the actual glow drops have SPF, which is different to all the others. And I think that's what's helping them go on the market. There's lots of stuff. Milk Makeup has a glow, cloud glow primer. Goes on clear, instantly preps skin to create a breathable smooth base for makeup. Cloud glow primer brightens, hydrates, and even skin tone with your skin's natural glow come through. It looks like it's like a foam device. Milk do make original products. I'm just going to say it. Their grip primer, that's super original. Oh, yeah. The Makeup by Mario palette. 
It's a, I have the Morphe Cool Toned palette and I feel like it's the same thing. So I feel like the quality is definitely going to be different. But I wouldn't need to buy it because I have the Morphe one. But I do like the looks of it. It's just the bottom row, the super cool grey tones, I don't love. But I love the two top rows. But I wouldn't need that bottom row. That is it. I'm done. I've got nothing else to say to you. But make sure you like the video because that was a lot of talking. I need to have a break now. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please let me know down below your favorite things for me. It's the RMS SPF drops thing. And what was the other thing I got like hyper excited about? That pistachio fragrance I really am excited about too. Oh, and the L'Oreal face spray, but I won't be buying that. But um, I will continue with my low buy, but that was really fun to talk about all these things with you guys. Um, even if it does make me a little bit jealous, but I'm okay. Like I'm actually okay. Like I don't feel like I need these things. I'm really excited to be using the makeup that I have and not feel that need and that urge to buy more, but it's still fun to talk about. So thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you in my next one. Bye.